Hi, welcome to Yai Time. Hi, I'm your host, Jack Douglas, otherwise known as Jack's Films, but that's not important. What is important is that it's movie night. Theaters, remember those? I sure don't. Let me explain how this little game show works. I'm going to give our contestants a question or a prompt. Then our contestants will get a minute or so to fill in their best, funniest, wittiest, whateverest answers. And then you, you're gonna vote for your favorite answer because whoever gets the fewest votes will get eliminated. I should probably mention, I'm not just your charming host, I'm also one of the playing contestants. And I play to win. First up, I want to see my good friend, John Cozart. Hello. You guys may know John better as Paint on YouTube. I've heard from a little birdie that uh, you've seen every season of Survivor? as in all 40 seasons? It is literally two years since the year 2000. And I'm not gonna apologize, it's the only trash TV I can really indulge in. Well, thank you, John. Uh, I will talk with you later, but I wanna meet another dear friend of mine, another contestant, Comment Etiquette. Thanks for having me on the show. Are you kidding? I'm so happy you are here. You're funny, you're witty, and you can bend your fingers all the way back? Oh is yeah, you wanna speak? Oh, the, dude. Like the pinky flicks up? Take take those fingers away. I can't. I cannot. Let's meet our third and final contestant, Mayhem Miller. Please stand up. Hello, Mayhem. Good to have you. Hi. I heard you competed on the 10th season of RuPaul's Drag Race. What was that experience like? <laughs> Freeing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're ready for a little yai time mayhem. In fact, we're all gonna warm up with a little prep question just so everyone knows how the game will progress. What is the movie title for the story of your life? This is a tricky one. This is a hard one for a warm up. My God, maybe that's, maybe that's for the best. I need to get in touch with your audience and get some answers from them, man. <laughs> if you guys wanna slide into my DMs, they're open. What is the movie title for the story of your life? Here in no order are our answers. Alone, my tragic tales of winery, three men and a baby, my experience on Tinder, Mayday, or the curious case of Benjamin Buttman. These are incredible. <laughs> I, <laughs> I really like that. Do you guys feel confident about your answers? Because I sure don't. <laughs> no. Audience, I want to see what you wrote. Christina writes, too fast, not furious enough. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Michael writes, too furious, not fast enough. I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> I think time is up. I think that's it. That's it. The curious case of Benjamin with 41% of all the votes. Who is the winner of this warm up round? It's Eric. I knew it was Eric. Have you seen The Curious Case of Benjamin Button? Uh, no. I was not expecting this. There's a tie for last place. We have two people whose answers <laughs> only received 11% of the audience votes. Can we get to both of those losers? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mayhem, what are we doing? Well, I guess I do need a Mayhem situation. <laughs> I need help. So that was the warm up. Let's see the real first actual question, shall we? Fill in the blank. The next big blockbuster will be titled blank. In no order, here are our four answers. Generation Z, Apocalypse. Five Alarms on my phone. King <laughs> Kong versus K-pop. End of Days Part 3, We Think. All right, audience, you know what to do. Vote for your favorite answer. Remember, whoever gets the fewest votes will be eliminated, sent to the loser town, population them. All right. Wait, is that true? We're getting eliminated is that a real place? completely? Yeah, it's a real place and you do get, well, you can still chime in with your cute little commentary, John, uh, but you can't submit answers. All right, so yeah, the stakes are high. The stakes are high, everyone. 
Audience, what do you have for us? Michael writes, wait, I thought Blockbuster went out of business. That title's too long. That'll never work on a marquee. Beth the Dork, the Emoji Movie 2, Gene and Jailbreak, Finally kiss. Jack, why is your audience better at this than we are? This isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, and that's time. Pencils down, voting's closed. With a whopping 41% of all the votes, who wrote Generation Z Apocalypse? <laughs> My man. It's me. Obviously it was John. You think, you think Generation Z is to blame for the inevitable apocalypse? What's your commentary? What's your hot take? I feel like Generation Z, I was thinking Z for zombie because they're addicted to their phones and they're all depressed. So this is what I'm thinking. Like that's gonna be the next blockbuster is this big, this big zombie that is some... movie starring Gen Z. All right, Mr. Hotshot. All right, back to the polls. King Kong versus K-pop. That was pretty good too. But I want to talk to whoever wrote End of Days Part 3, dot, 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 we think. Oh no, no oh, mayhem. Man. Oh man. I gotta ask what? What was going through your head when when you wrote that answer? I mean, like, yeah, we love these like apocalyptic movies, and but they never seem to end. So it's like, okay, end of days, I think. <laughs> so. But you know what? You won our hearts, Mayhem. You won our hearts oh. and our spirits. And guess what? Just because you're eliminated from the competitive angle, you can still pipe in with your with your hot takes and your commentary. Yes, and I love playing, so let's play. I'm moving on, Eric's moving on, John's moving on, and Mayhem is just kind of chilling in the wings, but let's see what the next question's gonna be. What movie deserves a sequel? Go ahead and type in your really funny answers. I got are we this typing in the movie, or are we typing what the sequel would be? I would say both. Maybe you can say like the movie two colon and then like a subtitle. That's what I would do. Well, it's gonna be pretty that. clear what my answer is. <laughs> Mayhem, if you had to choose, what do you think deserves a sequel? Oh my Doesn't god, Steel Magnolias. Yeah. Steel Magnolias. Well, we have our real answers ready. Uh, computer, cut to the three real answers, please. What do we got? What are we working with? So the question was, what movie deserves a sequel? <laughs> is it Chef? <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Planet, Planet Full of Dang Dinosaurs, or Titanic 2, Thaw Jack. All right, audience, you know what to do. Go ahead and vote for your favorite answer. Oh, man. Yeah, man, Chef yeah, is I... so niche. That is so <laughs> funny. Is so <laughs> audience, what do you think deserves a dang sequel? Terry writes, the never-ending story, Colin. Mayhem's return! Uh, That's beautiful! I always will ride on Falcor, so I'm totally down for the never ending story with me in it. Andrew writes Lord of the Rings 3, 2. <laughs> I thought the ending to the original was too long. Damn it! Why are these people, get these people on the show, computer? You know what, they're, well, Jack, they're Googling this. Oh, you They've know what, they the might answers. be. It's like, we're not allowed to use our phones, so it's. I, you know what? I'm gonna pretend that they're good, that this exists in the forum somewhere, that they're just stealing from that. Thank you, Eric. That actually makes me feel so much of better. There's a Wikipedia page full of these things. And Madge, Madge writes, The Happening 2. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna give you much more time at all to vote. Get those votes in. I'm sick of waiting. Just an absolute blowout with nearly 80% of all the votes. Titanic 2, Thawed Jack. Uh, can we see who wrote Titanic 2, Thawed Jack, please? I wanna. Damn it! Damn it! Mm, mm, mm. Again? I'll be honest, I Chef made me laugh out loud. I'm like, Chef is the best <laughs> answer. It's the clear winner, but Well it wasn't though. I mean I I, I hear ya, but it wasn't. Alright, get, get out of here. I'm mad at you for being so gosh darn clever. John had the winning answer with Titanic 2. I had the terrible answer of Jurassic Planet. So by process of elimination, our next loser. I hate to say it. Boo. Don't boo him. Well, that's mean. I Don't did lose. Don't boo my buddy Eric. You boo people you did. who lose. Both John and I agree that Chef was a good answer. Classic case of uh, proposing an idea and then everyone else does that idea and then I, I'm like, oh wait, I, I don't want to do that idea. Who do you think is going to win this whole dang game? Uh, John. Dude, I knew I liked you, Eric. Well, screw you too. Mayhem, who do you think is going to win? I'm predicting that there's gonna be a comeback round and then I'm gonna take it all. That would be unprecedented here on the iTime. 
get ready because this next round, it's the final match. Let's cue it up, shall we? Spoil a movie in just four words. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, spoil a movie in four words. And audience, don't forget, you're playing too. I'm just, I'm so fired up. I'm just gonna cut straight to the final answers. Spoil a movie in just four words. Here are the two answers. <laughs> Chipmunks ruined popular music. He dead whole time. Audience, vote for your favorite answer. And keep in mind, this is the most important vote. This is the most important round of the whole dang game. So Jack, what do, what do I win when I beat you? Oh, you're adorable. Audience, what do you got for us? What movie would you spoil in four words? Let's see, Christina writes, Rat is the chef. I, I have no idea. Is that Blade Runner? I'm feeling good. I'm nervous, but it's like a good nervous, John. You know what I mean? It's like a good nervous. Yeah. Yeah, use that energy. You're gonna need it. <laughs> oh, oh I'm gonna God. need it. <laughs> all right, all right. So, 62%, 38%. I would love to speak to the winner. Is there any way we can cut? Oh my God, it was me. It was me, baby. I was always the eye time. Now this is gonna be super embarrassing. Can we cut to all of our losers, please? Hey. Oh no. Oh, I'm surrounded by losers. Well freaking done. To all of our players and contestants and our audience members, thank you all so very much. And everyone was such a good sport. I would like to, uh, can we just cut to John again real quick? Hi. He's my boy. John, where in the world can we find you on the internet? Look, the folks have been clamoring for new content on my YouTube channel. It's arrived. YouTube.com slash paint. That's where to find me, ladies and gents. I want to cut to another good friend of mine. Eric, you played a good game. You're one of the funniest people I know. Um, where can the good people of the internet find your work? Well, Jack, my classroom door is always open at Internet Comment Etiquette on YouTube. I've been watching your stuff for over a decade. And uh, yes, um, I, I often call you the YouTuber's YouTuber. That's right. I'm, I'm like the prog rock of YouTubers. And last but not least, um, the best sport on here, Mayhem. Where, where in the world can we find you and all that you do? Oh my gosh, you can find me on uh, Instagram at the only Mayhem, where you can see all the fabulousness and motivational things I love to do. <laughs> well, that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching. I wanna thank all of our virtual audience members for not just watching, but for voting and for submitting answers and just lurking, lurking in the chat. We appreciate you lurkers too. We see you, we appreciate you. I wanna thank our contestants. And uh, I've been your host, Jack Douglas slash Jack's Films. Tune in next time for the next episode of Yai Time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>